Welcome to our Cinematic Storycraft English Learning YouTube channel. Today is very interesting story. The Daily Life. This story is helpful for your English learning listing and speaking skills. So listen carefully and feel free and enjoy the story. In the heart of the bustling city, where shadows played hide-and-seek with the neon lights, lived a master thief named Adrian. Adrian was not your run-of-the-mill pickpocket. He was an artist, a shadow that danced through the night, invisible yet ever-present. His daily routine was a blend of meticulous planning, precision execution, and a touch of bravado making his life a thrilling roller coaster of danger and excitement. Adrian's day began not at dawn, but at dusk, when the city started to blur under the twilight haze. He woke in his modest yet sophisticated apartment, filled with high-end technology and tools of his trade, which he called his lair. The room was cluttered with blueprints, surveillance equipment, and a collection of disguises, each more convincing than the last. Adrian's eyes fluttered open, and the first thing he did was check his meticulously maintained schedule. Every job was planned down to the last detail, ensuring that nothing was left to chance. After a quick shower and a light meal, Adrian's first task of the evening was reconnaissance. Disguised as an ordinary pedestrian, he melted into the city's rush-hour crowd, his sharp eyes scanning every detail. Tonight's target was an exclusive art gallery hosting a private exhibition of priceless paintings. Adrian had been studying the gallery for weeks, noting the security measures, guard routines, and even the habits of the curator. He had mapped out every exit, every blind spot in the surveillance system, and every potential obstacle. As he walked past the gallery, he noted the security guards changing shifts. Perfect. He continued to a nearby cafe, where he ordered a coffee, and sat at a corner table with a clear view of the gallery's entrance. From his pocket, he pulled out a small device that intercepted the gallery's security feed, which he had hacked into the previous week. Through an inconspicuous earbud, he listened to the guard's radio chatter, confirming that everything was proceeding as planned. Satisfied, Adrian returned to his apartment to prepare for the heist. He donned his custom-made all-black outfit, designed for maximum flexibility and minimum noise. Every piece of equipment was carefully chosen and tested. A grappling hook, a set of lockpicks, a compact laser cutter, and a small EMP device to disable electronic security systems. He checked each item, ensuring everything was in perfect working order. The clock struck midnight, and the city fell into a deeper slumber. Adrian moved through the alleys like a whisper, reaching the back of the gallery where he knew the security was weakest. He scaled the wall with ease, using his grappling hook to secure a line to the roof. Once on top, he carefully approached a skylight he had unlocked earlier in the day during a routine maintenance period. Slipping inside, he landed silently in a dark corner of the gallery. Moving with the grace of a dancer, Adrian navigated through the laser security system, his movements precise and measured. He reached the main hall, where the most valuable painting hung, a masterpiece worth millions. Adrian pulled out his EMP device and activated it causing a brief blackout in the security cameras. He had exactly two minutes before the system rebooted. 
Working quickly, Adrian cut through the protective glass with his laser cutter, gently removed the painting, and replaced it with a flawless replica he had commissioned months ago. He knew the painting would not be missed until the next morning, giving him ample time to disappear without a trace. As he retraced his steps, a noise caught his attention. A guard, off his usual route, was approaching. Adrian flattened himself against a wall, blending into the shadows. The guard passed by, oblivious to the thief's presence. Adrian let out a silent sigh of relief and continued to the skylight. With the painting securely stowed in a specially designed backpack, he climbed back onto the roof and retraced his descent. Back on the ground, Adrian vanished into the night. He returned to his apartment, where he placed the painting in a secure vault hidden behind a false wall. His heart still pounded with the adrenaline of the heist, but he couldn't afford to rest yet. He spent the next few hours wiping any digital trace of his activities, ensuring that his presence in the gallery's security feed was erased. As dawn approached, Adrian finally allowed himself to relax. He poured a glass of whiskey and sank into his favorite armchair, a sense of satisfaction washing over him. Each heist was more than just a job. It was a testament to his skills, his intellect, and his unyielding dedication to his craft. He knew that the painting would fetch a high price on the black market, but the real reward was the thrill of the heist itself. Hadrian's daily routine might have seemed ordinary to an outsider, a series of mundane activities strung together. But to him, every action was a piece of a larger puzzle, a step in a grand dance of shadows and light. His life was a constant balance between danger and exhilaration, a tightrope walk where one misstep could mean disaster. As he drifted off to sleep, the city waking up around him. Adrian couldn't help but smile. He lived for the night, for the thrill of the chase, for the perfect heist. And as long as there were treasures to be stolen and challenges to be met, he knew he would never truly rest. For Adrian, the master thief, the night was always young, and the game was always afoot. Comment your feedback. Like and subscribe our channel.